Remember to subscribe to our channel, and click bell icon if you like our videos. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever tried the largest NLP model, GPT-3, from OpenAI? Have you played around with the prompt and uh, the parameters with their API? If not, uh, you should try it out on your own. And there are a lot of discussions, resources, and even demos available online. You should definitely check out this website called gpttools.com as well. And I will put the link in the description below. There are some tools you can test by your own, like Token Estimator, Search Token Estimator, Engine Comparison, and Semantic Search Playground. Okay, so today uh, I will share with you and walk you through the tutorial of creating a Q&A application with Semantic Search. Okay, so let's take a look at it. First of all, you will need your API key for this tool because this tool will uh, submit API calls for this tutorial. Okay, so you copy and paste your API key here and you are ready to go. Okay, step number one. You can submit a question here. Any question you like to test? So in this demo, I used um, what is the capital of Pakistan? Okay. Okay, step number two. Use GPT-3 and the semantic search to give scores to a list of text blocks. And those text blocks separated by three hashtags in between, okay? So just keep in mind, uh, you should split a long text into several smaller text blocks because uh, based on the official um, OpenAI API document, the current limitation for prompt depth is 2048 tokens. So uh, if you give an input with a long text that out of the limitation, you will get an error message from an API call. Okay, so those are my text plus for my question. Let me copy and paste to here. All right, so those are my uh, text blocks that separated by three hashtags, okay? And uh, for uh, scoring those text, the engine Babbage, okay? Babbage is good enough for this task. Okay, so click the score button here and you can see uh, GPT-3 assigned uh, a score to each document or each text box, okay? Okay, step number three, sort the text box by score. And you will see the first text box is the top scoring match. And you are using this text box for getting your answers to your question. Okay. Okay, step number four. Insert the highest scoring text box into this prompt along with your question. Okay, so we can see the text box here uh, goes to document section and your question here goes to the let's see question section. Okay. So, and then I uh, click the button to 
added to prompt to the API. And the final step is to submit the prompt to the API and you will get the best answer to your question. Okay, so you can see the questions here and the engine give you an answer to this question. Okay. All right, so that's pretty much the demo for today. And you can test it uh, with your own questions for your applications. And they also uh, provide JavaScript code here for your reference, right? And yeah, if you like our videos, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, okay? So see you in the next video and thanks for watching. Subscribe and click bell icon for latest updates.